Hey everybody, Kristen here. I'm coming to you from my gazebo. I wish I was coming to you from Four Pillar, but that's not the case. So today I'm going to demonstrate a uh, full body HIIT workout. Uh, there's gonna be four moves. I will demo each one of those. Uh, for round one, you'll be doing 20 reps. For round two, you'll be doing 15 reps. For round three, 10, and for round four, five. I'll demo round four, just to keep it short and sweet. Um, there's gonna be some alternatives uh, to each one of the exercises. They can be done body weight, or they can be done with weights, or bands. And uh, after each one of the four exercises um, through completion of round, we'll have some cardio options. So I have my trusty assistant doing my video. Thanks, Marissa. <laughs> and uh, we'll give you a, a glimpse into round four and some of the options you can use. Move number one, our favorite, squats. You can do any squat you would like. If you want to do a sumo squat, if you want to do a goblet squat, whatever you would like just a squat. So I have uh, my weight here. So I'm gonna do goblet squats. So for round four, I'm down to five reps. I'm holding my squat weight and squat down, stand up, squat down, stand up. No weight, no problem. If you have a band, go ahead and put that right around above your knees. Wide stance, get some resistance and squat and up and squat and up. Don't have a band, don't have weights. You're just doing regular old plain Jane squat. Certainly you can give a little pulse at the bottom to increase intensity even without weight. So there's move number one. Move number two, our friend, the push-up. That can be a regular push-up up on the toes, on the knees. It could be a tricep push-up if that's more what you're concentrating on. Hands in closed, chaturanga style push-up. Also remember that you have elevations all around you. So if you want to do your push-ups on an elevated spot, feel free to do that as well. So we're just doing some good push-ups uh, for the number of reps depending upon what round you're on. Move number three, Bulgarian split squat. So this can be done with, again, any elevation that you have. So you're just gonna put your foot up there, stay nice and tall up top, and down, up, down, up. Reps are 20 on each side for round one, 15 round two, 10, five. You can add weights. If you don't have the balance with you today, you can even do these, just a split squat here. With or without weights. So that's move number three. Move number four, V-ups. So find a spot where you can spread out and V-up. Don't forget to breathe, which has been difficult this week. And V-up. If you can't do a full V-up, any kind of crunch, any kind of leg lift. Just get in some reps for some ab work and that's move number four. So now I'm gonna go over the cardio options. So again, the cardio is done after you complete all of the four moves that I just showed you. So you have some options. Some people don't have a timer. So if you don't have a clock to keep track of time, um, we're gonna do 120 reps of each of the individual cardi cardio options. Um, I myself am gonna take advantage of this beautiful day. And after my round, I'm going to run down the street. So let me just show you the cardio options. So if you're not gonna take advantage of this beautiful day and go out for that run in between rounds, um, I'm gonna show you four cardio options. So the first option is our favorite jumping jacks. Just a quick jumping jack. That will be for a minute if you have a timer. If you don't, just count 120 reps. The second option will be mountain climbers. Another fan favorite. And again, for one minute or 120 reps. 
The next one is a bobbin weave. So here or here, and just keep it tight and keep it fast moving. And that would again be for a minute or 120 reps. And then finally speed skaters here, here, here. So there's four cardio options for in between rounds. So let me know what you think of the workout and I hope everybody's staying sane and healthy. Um, I'm going to go out for my run. Have a great day.